Hallelujah. The Lord has sent me to talk to you and to pray for you about something that many of you do not know how it works. We call it supernatural remote control. We call it Okbo. Okbo. It is a charm. Many of you do not come from the kind of place I come from in the world. Where the supernatural on both sides are at work for each groups. Those who belong to Jesus see the supernatural move of Jesus. Those who belong to the devil see the supernatural remote control of darkness walking through people, angry, envious, jealous people. With supernatural remote control, someone in a different continent, a different country, a different side of the city, a different state, can remotely, wirelessly, be controlling everything you are doing. Be, in fact, remote controlling you. Remote controlling your life. Remote controlling what you say, what you do, how you do things. They can provoke anger. They can provoke any kind of emotion in you. And you don't know why. Because someone has you remotely programmed. The Lord has chosen me and asked me to deliver you. Per adventure, somebody is remotely, supernaturally controlling you. Call me, Edikai Mary. With the Holy Ghost, the gift of the Father through His Son, King Jesus, we will deliver you so that you can have the four coverings of God. And the four coverings, what is the four coverings? Somebody should tell me, please. Somebody should help me. The four coverings are the blessings, the the presence of God, the innocency of God, and the joy of the Lord. That's what you need. You have these four. Everything come to you easily. Hallelujah. I do not want anybody ever to remotely control your life and your affairs. Somebody far away is remotely controlling your job, controlling your business. You started that restaurant business. I'm talking to a woman right now. I'm seeing a woman. You've started a business. If you want, I'll tell you exactly. I'm talking to a woman in Dallas, Texas right now. I'm also talking to somebody in Manhattan in the heart of the United States. When I say the heart, that means Manhattan is supposed to be where it's all happening. I'm also talking to a lady in North Carolina. I'm talking to a man. You are from Ghana. There's another man that I'm talking to. You are from Mozambique. And you live in Las Vegas. Listen to me. I'm talking to a man. Your name is Prince. And you live in the north side of Paris, in France. I'm talking to you. Your name is Florence. Listen to me so that you know that I know you. Right now, as I'm talking to you, you are wearing a yellow blouse and you are wearing a red skate. You like fashion. You like fashion. You have started a hair salon. I saw you and your husband discussing last night about you bringing in nail thing, 
they nail, nail, nail bar into it and a place for people to wax their, their eyes because you saw that when you traveled to another country. So you, from, from where you were in your hotel room, you call your sister and discuss with your sister. And then both of you discuss with your husband. You are planning to get a loan to start it. But I'm advising you against getting that loan. The money that you are getting from the hair salon should support you to begin the nail bar and the waxing things, etc. There is another woman that I'm talking to. Your name is Mercy. You are a Nigerian woman. You are a Nigerian woman. And your father, no, either your mother is a Nigerian and your father is from Liberia, or one is from the other or the other, something like that. Because you speak broken English, Patois English. You have a fashion, African fashion store, where they sell wrapper, headgears, shoes. You, you have traveled to Italy twice. You've traveled to Italy twice to buy shoes, etc. So I know who I'm talking to. Let me tell you what has been going on with your businesses. Somebody is remotely, wirelessly controlling what you are doing. There is another woman that I'm talking to now. You see, you were not the one that your husband was supposed to marry. Your husband was supposed to marry somebody else. I'm talking to a woman and a husband. Both of you live in Italy. So that you know that God make me see. Because he opens my eyes to see. You were not the one that the parents choose for this man. And also, they are like about four different girls with different scenario that this guy should have married before you. But then, when he met you, he thought that he has found somebody who looks like, because you, you almost speak, act like his mom. So he married you. But I want you to know tonight, or morning, or whenever you're watching this broadcast, that his parents never, never liked you. And they are remotely, wirelessly, controlling your husband, and also controlling you. Many a time you've been possessed. So let me tell you so that you know it is you I'm talking to. There was something that happened that you were so provoked that you couldn't sleep. Your husband was sleeping and you went into the kitchen and you were looking at the knife, the big knife that you use in cutting meat. You were thinking of, of uh, committing murder. Then something told you don't do it because you lost it. You didn't care whether you went to jail or you fled from that nation that night. You wanted to do away with him. Reason is that you felt like you have invested so much into this man. That night you called that man a bastard. You said to yourself, I have invested because I heard you in the other room talking to your sister. And this is what you said. I have invested so much money. And sister, you know that I've invested so much money into this bastard. Call me. Call me. Wherever you are in the world, call me. 316-665-4400. If nobody answers, you call me. Call this number. 316-512-6944. Remember, the country code is 1. I live in the United States in Wichita, Kansas. I am a Pentecostal Presbyterian pastor. So that you know that I'm not an internet person. I'm a real person that you can meet and talk to. I will tell you what the price is for the kind of mission that I do. So call me. You can write to me. In the guy Mary 2000, 2000 at gmail.com. And our secretary will respond back to you. So if you receive, if you write to us through our website and you receive an email from our organization, from a lady called Victoria. That's the secretary. You know it's from us. Call me. And I will solve your problem. And whoever is holding the Akbar. Whoever is holding the charm. 
in their hand and they've been remotely controlling you, it will be broken and destroyed. Now, I'm talking to a man whose name is Felix. You are what we call show baba. You are what we call show baba. You like to dress well and look good. And women love you a lot. So listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. Your brother recently disrespected you because he said, in spite of your education, you have not been able to achieve your political ambition because twice you've contested for election, election to be a senator in your home country. And somebody was remotely controlling you and the money you brought home, they ate it. And then you went back to Bodo Yibo. Bodo Yibo means you went back to the white man's life, uh, land to start afresh. And your brothers and your sisters, people have been making mouth about you. I'm going to solve that problem for you very quickly. I'm not going to pray for you. But I'm going to do something mysterious. What we call the word and action in progress. Let me tell you why you were crying yesterday. A boy that you know won the election in your territory, in your gubernatorial territory. And you've never been yourself after that. The reason why you couldn't win the election twice is because you think that you belong to the inner circle. You don't belong. They have told you to become a member of some secret cult. But because you fear that your wife will discover it and leave you and take the children and leave because she is afraid that you are going to sacrifice the children. You've discussed this with your brother. So don't think that I do not see you. You have. You are afraid because your wife goes to church and you are afraid that the church people will tell her what you are doing in secret. That's why you don't want to go there. And I don't want you to go there. Call me. Wherever you are in the world, email me, call me. And I'm going to break the up wall. And nobody will be able to control your body, your mind, your spirit, your finances, your job, your, your ambitions. My name is Idikai Mary, and I hope to hear from you soon and see you. That will be the time that I will do something big for you. Bye-bye.